Hello, hello, hello. It is me, your girl, your host, your partner in passion, the passion strategist. And I am with an amazing, amazing special guest. Now, I don't even have to do all of the hype game because you all can see the banner at the bottom of your screen is introducing her. I'm going to let her do that for herself in just a minute. But I want to welcome all of my creatives, my entrepreneurs, my innovators, and my visionaries back to another Friday night episode. You know what this is. This is our happy hour, if you will, for the creatives where we come together, we kick back, and we really get into some good tea and some good talk. And the whole point is that you leave um, better than you came, a whole lot of encouragement, a little bit of education mixed in, and just making sure that you understand that there is a purpose, there is a point for your passion, and we want to get you facing in the direction that's going to move you towards success and away from self-sabotage. So, as promised, we have been working through this amazing concept of what the network. And if you have missed the last two weeks with us, you definitely want to go back. You want to hit the replay. You want to get caught up so you can be all the way in the know. Y'all know how we do it. We drop gems and we drink tea all night long. And listen, we just get into it. So I am going to promise you that it's going to be another good, juicy conversation. We are continuing on our topic of when your net works. And we'll get into what that means and what that does and all of that fun stuff in just a moment. But first, I want to get you guys to welcome to the stage, welcome to the platform, welcome to the place. Um, with me, your girl, the passion strategist, our esteemed special guest and my um, privileged network partner, because I am so blessed to be able to be in networking and relationship with this amazing, amazing, amazing woman of God, um, Ms. Rachel Hannibal. So Rachel, welcome. Thank you so much for accepting this invitation um, and for blessing us with who you are, because who you are all by yourself is like a whole firestorm that you will never be the same, right? So I need you to introduce the people to who you are for those who don't know, because y'all already know y'all know who she is, but for, for those who live under a rock or some of our some of our tribe that live in other states and you know vibes who haven't caught fire yet. Get lit tonight, okay? Rachel, Rachel, Rachel. Who are you, my love? Well, thank you, first of all. But we'll get into a little more thank yous later. I am Rachel Hannibal. I am a certified financial educator. I am an author of three books um, and the best-selling author of Amber's Magical Savings Box. Uh, and I'm also a financial coach for adults. I have a full finance curriculum for kids starting at the age of three, where I teach kids going all the way up to college age, everything about credit, banking, budgeting, entrepreneurship, investing, all those things that are normally not learning in school. Um, I almost have a perfect credit score. I've been in the 800 club for eight years now. Um, and I became debt free, paid off $92,000 worth of debt and saved up a year's worth of my income in cash. So I have for the last six years with Miss and Peace Financial Group been helping others on their road to financial freedom. Now, Rachel, who is calling you during our broadcast? They know you are live. You are Nobody's business. calling me. Somebody was calling me because that sound went out on us. And I was like, wait Did a minute. It? New proper, we cannot have it happening. So oh, no. tell us what have you been doing with Miss and Peace Financial Group? What have you been doing with that entity? Missing Peace Financial Group for the last, am I good? Yes, you're perfect. Oh, for the last six years, I've been helping others on their road to financial freedom, whatever that may look like, their short-term or financial, short-term and long-term financial goals. So you have just been out here impacting the world, basically. I need y'all to um, hear the gems when they drop because her gems drop real, real different um, to the tune of, I don't know if y'all already caught it, the, the $92,000. That's a gem right there. That That's a gem. Um, I need you to uh, understand that she said, I already did it, but then I decided I needed to reach back so I could help you do it. Okay, gem drop number two. And this is just in the intro. Okay, y'all. So I need y'all to pick them up while she's putting them down because they're going to drop fast and furious. I guarantee it. Okay. I have been in her workshops, in her seminars, in her programs. I have been blessed to be a client. And I'm telling you that it has been a game changer for me, so much so that I have been able to um, to get in my sights the, the 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 actual legacy movement behind what Missing Peace Financial Group does. So I'm telling you, we are just in for a whole, whole treat. Listen, I have started something in this series and it goes a little something like this. 
get your pen so you can get these gems, okay? It's just that simple. I, go get your pen so you can get ready to get these gems, okay? Rachel, you are, you represent literally in the flesh, not just to me, but I think for so many, especially of our people, um, the impossible. And why I say that is because I know for me, um, like you said in your introduction, there were so many conversations that were not had um, and there were so many lessons that were not taught in what you would feel would be a traditional learning environment. And so not only did you learn the lessons, but then you actually applied and, and, and you know, put that wisdom to work. And so now you are a walking, talking example of not who we can be, but who we should be. And with your help, who we will be as we continue to pursue financial freedom. And so I just have to kind of on behalf of the tribe, I have to say thank you. Thank you for being willing to be um, what for some of us is the first. The first person that we can see, that we can touch, that we can access, that looks like us, that speaks to us and for us, um, but does not judge us, right? Because this financial thing um, can be really intimidating just because of that spirit of judgment that I think so many of us, um, you know, have encountered. And so the reason I wanted to have you come on and talk with us tonight is because I've been really intentional this month about sharing on this this concept of network. And um, we taught a few weeks ago that the network in its most basic form is literally, it is a group of people who are designed to cultivate and be helpful to you as you become in its very simplest form. And clearly you have mastered your lane in cultivating people into who they will become. So talk to me about how networking has played a part in your journey, um, not just to financial freedom, but then in you actually finding your call to service. Um, how did networking play a part in that? Huge, like you don't... Growing up, everything was in a four block radius of my home. So mm -hmm. my elementary school, my high school, the church we went to, our my aunt's house. Like, so we I, I didn't really go far outside of North Philadelphia too often. And so once I got to college, it's like, what do I do now with this new wave? This wave of people that have so many so much you know different backgrounds and information and all kinds of things and some of them spoke different languages and it was just like you know i was like how i need to begin to connect with these people once i got over the shock <laughs> um it was just you know not being afraid to ask certain questions of, of certain people and i felt well, i felt like if it goes bad, then I'll probably never see them again. Then I won't be embarrassed. And but if it goes well, <laughs> I'll make a great connection with someone who mm -hmm. I'm sure has some type of piece uh, to the puzzle that I will need. Now, even if rejection is still a piece of the puzzle. So even if I reached out to someone, or even if I connected with someone um, and they rejected me, it was still a piece. It was still a piece of the puzzle that I, I needed at the time. And so. Um, just understanding the wealth of information just around us, um, mm -hmm. and the people around us, it was just huge. I'm, like you just pick up, you talk about gems, you know, you just pick up gems. Everyone has something to offer. Um, and I think that it, it's like no matter the age, you know, I teach kids and they enlighten me, <laughs> you know, on things. So networking is really important, but being able to pick your core out, you know, when you talk about, you know, okay, there's a piece here, there's a piece here that doesn't mean that particular person is meant to be in your tight, you know, core of people in your network. So you, you take a little while to, to get funneled through that. But the first step is introducing yourself to someone and, you know, telling them that you admire them, telling, telling them, you know, that you would like to learn from them and telling them who you are and what you do. Um, a lot of people don't, learn early on how to do that, how to just walk up to someone and introduce yourself. So networking is really important. Um, as you move forward, even if you're, you don't want to be an entrepreneur, even as an employee, mm -hmm. networking is important um, yes. if you want to be successful at, at whatever you do. I love it. I love it. And I mean, that was just, see, I told you all the gems are going to drop hot, heavy and real quick. So get your pen and get these gems. Okay. 
what I love and what was so rich in the soil of what you just sold into the tribe is how you literally talked about going from a place where you were kind of in that us four and no more mentality, that four block radius, right? But then you allowed yourself to transcend what I'm sure may have been fearful, foreign, and frankly, there was a question mark around how fruitful some of these things were going to be, but you took the leap and you allowed your faith to lead you beyond what you knew into a place that wasn't familiar. And you then became exposed, you know, in your words to other languages, other cultures, other thought patterns and other belief systems and other possibilities. And I love the way that you just literally laid down for us what I'm going to call the benefits package associated with the art of networking, right? And so I promised you guys that every week we were going to dig into networking um, from a different angle and the deep dive was going to leave us with food for thought. And so I hope that you're already beginning to think about the things that Rachel is challenging us to do because she did it real sweetly, but she just challenged all of us to look at those areas where we really have not allowed ourselves to network. And we really have allowed ourselves to get um, comfortable in our neighborhood. And that neighborhood could be the neighborhood of your mind, the neighborhood of your, your work, your profession, you know, the neighborhood of, you know, failure and what you've always been told you can't do or you won't do. And so we find ourselves caught up in these cycles, not realizing that we had the key in our hand the whole time. And it was the key to the network. It's the network that unlocked in Rachel, Missing Peace Financial Group and this certified financial educator, this best-selling author. Hello. Do you hear the levels and the layers that were unlocked because she was willing to take that leap of faith and put her feet in the water of the network? And so if you have any doubt as to whether or not networking is for you, as to whether or not networking matters, as to whether or not network produces um, to speak in the financial um, lane of it all, a return on your investment. And I'm sure Rachel can absolutely speak to that in, in ways that will bless us. But if you have any questions, look at the living legend, look at the example that is before you. I don't know if y'all see this glow, right? I don't know if you really picked up the fact that she named her business Missing Peace Financial group. Each one of those words is significant in its own right as it relates to networking. So Rachel, talk to me about that. How, where was the name birthed from and how does that name represent the work that you've done as far as casting your net and now how you in turn cast your net so that others have something to grab onto. Talk to me about the Missing Peace Financial Group. So Missing Peace is P-E-A-C-E. And it was mostly because growing up again in North Philadelphia, um, the, the crime rate was high uh, and the hope was low. And most of the issues came from not having money, not having peace in this area of finances. Like the jokes in elementary school was like, who was poorer than the other? Like it was, and that's what we constantly had to hear every day. And I'm thinking something is wrong here. Like, you know, we're having financial issues at home. And then every time I go to school, everyone else is complaining about this getting cut off and, and we're struggling. We're struggling to learn because it's, it's hard to learn if you're hungry. It's hard to learn yeah. if you're, your, your sneakers are too small because you are like, it's just difficult. And so I'm like, you know, our people are, are missing peace in this area. And um, for, for a lot of people, they don't want to admit that they're not at peace with where they are financially. And so that's where it came from for me. I was like, this is not going to be my life. This paycheck to paycheck, hoping I make it, paycheck to Monday. We didn't even have yeah. enough to make it to the next paycheck. And I'm, this, there's no way I can be at, at peace this way. And so um, it was just me trying to find those nuggets of peace, being self-taught. And what is this thing called a budget? It, it, what is investing? What are these words that I'm reading? And I used to have a subscription and walk for the Wall Street Journal. And it was just like, I don't know what they're talking about. Right. <laughs> these are words I've literally never heard a day in my life. And, um, you know, I didn't have Google, you know, at the time to just be like, hey, what is this thing? Um, 
<laughs> right? I didn't have all of like the experts on social media telling me this is what that is. And so um, it was just, you know, going on a journey of picking up books, doing this and doing that and, and fi figuring out what do the millionaires do? Um, and I used to start saying I'm a millionaire in training because I'm doing what I've read that the millionaires do. And it was small things that I will start to put in place. I would read millionaires do this, millionaires do that. And that's why now I call all my classes millionaires in training classes. Um, and so it was just more so like, how can I help my people now that I've found this level of peace? Um, how can I help my people find nuggets of peace on the road to financial freedom? Because Far too much. Our people have a far away goal when it comes to financial freedom. Oh, when my kids graduate college or when I retire mm -hmm. or when I pay off my mortgage or, you know, we we all have this list and it just seems like it's so far away. And my motive, my, my whole intention is to make sure I'm helping you. How can I help you sleep better tonight? And then how can I help you sleep better tomorrow night? And just grabbing those little nuggets of peace on the journey. So that is where Missing Peace Financial Group came from. I adore you. And you already know this. I tell you this every single time I have the opportunity to publicly and privately. But this is, um, and I need, I need the tribe. I need y'all to grab hold of this tonight because this is what it's all about. So again, this series is titled When Your Net Works. Let me tell you how Rachel, again, she has such a sweet way of kind of like punching you in the face. And I say it that way because it's the smile that gets you. It draws you all the way in. But when I tell you when she starts to unleash on you the wealth of wisdom, the practical nature of how easy it actually is to literally connect to this net and let it work for you. It literally leaves you without the excuses, right? Because that's where a lot of us get caught up. Self-sabotage is that land of excuses, you know, the land of tomorrow. And um, I love how you really brought us into your story, but you also helped us to see ourselves in your story. And that's an example of when that net works, right? Because she literally took the network that she kind of walked into as far as her school environment and her neighborhood environment. And then she made that net work for her. She allowed it to be her motivator. She allowed it to point her in the direction of her purpose and her passion. She continues to allow it to help her to reinvent the ways that she casts her net so that it can work for more people. And so this is one of the reasons why I absolutely was, I was ecstatic when she said, yes, I'm free. I'm available on this date. Pencil me in. And it was not a have your people call my people and then maybe those people can be people. You know, she really, <laughs> she really was, you know, intentional about showing us the net working. And so I hope that you all are gathering and, and just feeling um, even resonating through the screen and through the broadcast, what it is when your net works. There are benefits. There are returns on the investment when you work the net and when the net works. And so we talked a lot, Rachel, um, on last week's broadcast and even the week before, we talked about the kind of the purposes of the net, um, why we need a network, why we need to learn the art of networking. Um, and we talked about how the network functions um, in three different capacities. And so what it does is it covers you, it screens for you, and then it also encloses you. And so those three functionalities of the network, when the net works, um, really honestly are what keep you safe, what keep you on the straight and narrow, and what keep you um, represented um, in safety. You know, there's safety in numbers, as they say. And so, so many times, you know, even as I've come across in, you know, coaching and in training and in just meeting people, um, I find that people get this... Um, you know, uh, this island syndrome where they feel like they have to be a team of one and a brand of one and it's I'm the one. And it's such a myth that people function, you know, according to that they don't need a network, you know. Um, and I said it last week and I meant it. Uh, Y'all know I, I love me some Jesus. I'm a whole church girl. But that song, long as I got King Jesus, I don't need nobody else. Somebody, the song right aloud to you, okay? Vicky, you sang the water out the song. <laughs> 
the message was a little off, okay? Because the reality is no man is an island, right? And if you really want to leverage your influence, if you really um, want to do what, you know, what Jesus told us to do, which is go and teach, go to them, go there, the highways, the byways, and get out there. How are you going to do that as a one? And we talked last week. It's so funny because we had to holler. We had to put a pin in that because it was like, wait a minute. Jesus had a network. He called them disciples. And it was 12 of them jokers. And they were not broke. Come on, somebody. The Bible is very clear about how the disciples had money. Yes, indeed. So go ahead. I'm sorry. No, <laughs> the net works because if you if you notice this is that principle that I was um, sharing with you guys about how the net works and when it's working you will see that it will cover you it will screen for you it will enclose you and so that right there was a teachable moment of how the net works and this is how Rachel has been a part of my network and how the net has worked for me being connected to her because she will remind you as she has already reminded each of us during this broadcast you are a millionaire in training ma'am sir you are supposed to have wealth ma'am sir it is very much attainable ma'am sir i did it I'm doing it. Um, can you shout out that stat? You know, one of my favorite stats is something about the number eight. Can you shout out that eight stat? <laughs> <laughs> the status from today. Uh saying I have seven streams of income working on eight, working on the eighth one. Mm -hmm. And then it was a something about an eight. It was an eight, was it an eight hundred club? And if somebody the number what was the other eight? It's I've been my credit score has been over eight hundred for eight years, and I'm almost at a perfect score. I'm really close. Did you? Okay. That wasn't a gym. That was a bomb. Okay. She said, I've been over eight for eight and it's almost at perfection. Y'all know they move that little envelope every year. The perfect score becomes a different number. But she <laughs> oh, it don't matter how far y'all move it. She said, I'm right there. I'm tracking. I'm picking up what you're putting down. Where are we going next? Because I'm going to keep leveling up. This is what it looks like when your net works okay so i need you to understand that the people that you are connected to i shared with you guys last week that the you become the sum total of the five people that you're around the most right and one of the things that rachel never leaves me um you know without doing is issuing me some kind of a challenge she will always check in and hey give me a status report give me an update what's going on but then she will always issue me a challenge. So even if I'm in this good place, even if I'm moving, you know, according to the guidelines that she shared with me, there's always another level. So Rachel, talk to me and talk to all of us about this concept of using your network to level up. Because I think that honestly, like if we had to like name the book that was the autobiography of Miss Jane Pippen, the autobiography of Miss Rachel Hannibal would be called Level Up because it's what you've done from elementary school. You have been, you are a level up. You are a walking level up. So how does your network allow you, even at the stage and the place where you are now, how does it allow you to continue to level up? And how can we practically be like you, be millionaires in training and level up? So it's really funny that you asked me that today because two things come to mind. I came back from my trip with a confirmation of a contract to speak at a place that is on the corner of the block that I grew up in. I'm like, wow. mom, you're never going to believe where I have to speak at. And, and it's just a lot of people probably wouldn't look at that as a level of like, oh, you're speaking in North Philly, that is where I want to be. That's where I want to be. I want to be back where I'm back at home and for my people. And so um, a lot of times when we think about network, we think about level up, we often mention uh, mentoring, right? Mm -hmm. We tell people, if you want to be an entrepreneur, get you a mentor, get you, we really throw this word out and we want we looking for the elevator and not the stairs and we want the mentor to give us the elevator you know the tips for the elevator or or or, or let us in the room with them or let us be there plus one or whatever give us the shortcut give us the no baby you want to take the stairs you always want to take the stairs um because and i and i've said there are people, three people particularly, 
when I wanted to start teaching finances that I admired beautiful, beautiful women who were doing it. And I reached out to them and asked them to mentor me. And they was like, no, every one of them was like, no. And I became like really grateful because there are certain things that only God wants the credit for. Yeah. There are certain lessons that I learned on the stairs that will allow me to always recoup anything that I lost from anything. Cause there's, there's always going to be some, you know, a little loss, a little setback here and there. But if I lost it all today, the things I've learned on the stairs will allow me to get it all back t- twice, you know, three times over. And I wouldn't have had that if I would have taken the shortcuts from mentoring. So I think that when we think about our network and we think about leveling up, we kind of need to sh- shift how that how we think about it. Um, mm-hmm. Because you're right. There is always going to be another level. There is always going to be someone with better pictures on, on the gram. There is going to always be someone with more Facebook friends or more streams or whatever. Um, and then we just want to get there so fast. And so how can I just, you know, grab on this person's hotel? But I'll even use you and I as an example, right? We were in a class. You met me in a class mm-hmm. with people. You were the one that said, you know, what you said touched me and how can I utilize your services? And then we ended up in the corner talking for a little while. (laughs) Yeah. Right. Um, And you didn't say, Hey, can you mentor me? I need help. I need I want you to help me get to the next level. Where's the elevator? No, you said I'm working and you also, I also admire you working and can we work together? Is there a way that I can honor you and that you can help me and we can do this together? And the key is that if you're if you're already if you start to push the car, it's more likely that someone's going to get out and start to help you. Put, but if you're just sitting there, you know, on it and waiting for somebody to come save you, then it's less likely that someone is going to do that. But if I see someone push the car on the road, I'm going to be inclined to help them because they're helping. Right. The bus, right. So. And, and now you and I have this beautiful client mentor. We, I don't know who's the mentor some days, right? <laughs> um, <laughs> you know, we help each other out and it's organic and it's in a, a most loving way possible. There's no jealousy. It's all love. Jealousy is important to, to look out for. Um, I can give you, you know, I feel like God has given me things to say to you that you could, that could help you become a millionaire. I, you know, this yeah, is what this you could do that this would, and it takes nothing from me to do that you know and so i think that that's that's something that we kind of need to really define for ourselves what does that mm-hmm. level up what does that network what does that mentoring thing really mean and, and really look like um because if you just start working often when you just work and you got your head down the people will come it will draw yeah. the, the energy to people and you will be at the right place at the right time if you're doing what you're supposed to do and it will allow you to have all the keys to get to where you need to go absolutely i could not have said that better myself i mean wow did, did so y'all saw me just sitting here like mm-hmm. <laughs> because i'm telling you i have committed my part in this um you know to rachel's last point if you just show up where you're supposed to be and do what you're supposed to be doing and, and, and running your lane. Listen, with the grace he gave you to pace, everything else is going to come, right? And what I love, love, love is how Rachel is forever um, reminded of what her journey on the stairs taught her, but never limited by her time where she had to take the stairs. Because now... Her Louis Vuittons could get on in the elevator and hit the, hit the penthouse button because she can afford that. Yeah. However, <laughs> it's not lost on her when I was picking easy and paying less, okay? And so she's not um, one of those people that you find has made it to Oprah's masterclass couch. No autographs, please don't touch me. No, she's always connected to that full circle moment where she gets to stand before her peeps in North Philly and 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 just so into them and to see the seeds start to sprout up. What you guys don't know is that um Rachel is the real deal and Rachel is one of those people that is 
a living example of making full proof of your ministry and what I like to call being poured out a drink offering, right? There, she, there will be nothing left that she was supposed to do because once she heard and she decided that she was going to run with that word, she teaches the babies. She teaches midlife crisis people. She teaches the grown people that you was so bent on doing it your way. And now you had to come back and hire Miss Rachel anyway. She is not opposed to putting her hands to the file wherever God has assigned her to work. And so what I loved was how she really shared with us the principle of investing and understanding that there's seed time and harvest, right? So um, there's a scripture in Ecclesiastes, I think it's 11. Um, it's so funny. Um, my pastor just told on this one Sunday um, and the, 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 the message was called, you'll never know. And the premise that we're in a, a series called um, Leap. And the premise was, cast your bread upon the waters and in many days it'll come back. She talked about how she reached out to these different folks and, and they all said no. But I guarantee you now, not only do I not have to go through you to access that arena because I am more than qualified and I'm talking for Rachel now for a second, y'all indulge me, but I guarantee you that now they look to the left and they look to the right and every time they look around, they're seeing her face and they're feeling her reach because she was what? Not afraid to, and she was not limited by where her journey took her and where she started from did not dictate where she is going because she's not even done. This is just a, th listen, this is act one, okay? Can y'all imagine what Rachel is about to look like on the real level up at act four, five, six? Like, this is just act one. So I really cannot tell you how much I appreciate your willingness to come with me as I take the tribe kind of behind the vibe that is the net work. Um, you represent to me um, the very best and the very brightest of who we are and what we have to offer as creative thinkers and doers, as innovators and trailblazers, you are the epitome of that. And there is something about the way that you show up and the way that you um, support and undergird others that makes me want to go harder, that makes me want to reach farther, and that makes me want to always remember that there's somebody who is watching because you never ever enter a room just in, in a manner that says, don't touch me. I've never seen you do it. I've seen you on so many platforms. I've seen you with so many microphones in your hand and so many opportunities to, you know, to really show up and represent. And you do it with such a grace and a power and that is the epitome of what the network is meant to produce and what the network is meant to provide. A platform and a place where your grace and your power can be appreciated, can be cultivated, and can be used for the greatest of good. And that is who you are and what you represent. And I'm just so grateful that you have allowed me to come into your network and to be connected in a way that I can have my cup and get it filled up. I, I try to do that intentionally with the tribe every single week. You know, I always tell them, listen, I don't know what you had to go through to get here in this moment, in this space, in this place. But if you got a cup, I'm here to pour out with a pure pour and get you filled up. And that is what you do for me. And I appreciate you. Thank you. I love you. But with that being said, we need to make sure that the people around us are not poking holes in our cup. Come on. Because when you, we talk about your cup overflowing, um, it has to get full first and then overflow. Mm -hmm. Then the blessings flow to other people. However, often we have holes in our cup. So other people are getting blessed first and then we're never getting full. So when we talk mm -hmm. about our network, our net worth and all of that, because all that connects, we talked about that, right? We need to make sure that there are not people around us who are poking holes in our cup. Uh, in various ways, whether they are not holding us accountable to our finance goals, whether they are encouraging us to go against our diet goals, whatever, encouraging us to to not spend as much time with God as as we as we would have before. That is people poking holes in your cup, and you're never going to be full. Now, other people are going to get blessings because it's going to be pulling or pouring out the bottom, but you 
will never be full. And that is not God's plan for your life. So that is something that we need to make sure that we're mindful of as well. We pick our tribe and we pick our circle. This is, I told y'all, get your pen and get these gems. Here's what Rachel doesn't know is just last week we talked and we went into this network, right? And we talked about how the network is um, inclusive of the coach who's up here, who has a bird's eye view, can see all over and up and down the field, stuff that you can't see coming and also where you're trying to get to. Then there's your contemporary, that person that's on the line with you, that's running the drills and the plays, that's in it like you are, that can feel and understand at the level where you're living. And then there's that cup. There's the person that you've been assigned to pour into as you are being poured into. So we talked about the art of the coach, the contemporary and the cup um, or the cup bearer. And you literally just embodied the coach moment. You literally just embody the coach moment because the coach is the one that's going to tell you what you need to hear, whether it sounds good or not, whether you want to hear it or not. But it's absolutely going to help you to avoid pitfalls and to show up as your best self. And so I hope that you guys really did get that pen and grab that gem because that was so good. Making sure that your cup is always filled up and not, in fact, never full because it's always leaking and not because you fell and cracked it, but because, in fact, people are poking Holes. So when I say there is an art to this thing called the network and you know when your net works, this is how you know when your net works. OK, so if she did nothing, she just came on here in 30 minutes, demolished your little mindset and helped you to understand that this is how we do it. This is how we show up. This is what it looks like and what it feels like when your net works. So I would be remiss because I know y'all want her to stay on, but she's a popular lady. OK, so two things that are about to happen for you because I love you. Rachel, tell us about the new endeavor that you have going on with um, on Wednesday nights. That is something that is so important. And give us, of course, how we can follow you um, outside of the website, on social media and those kinds of things. Connect, um, contract your services and those kinds of things. But also um, talk to the tribe. Leave us with. Um, those words of wisdom, um, that piece of advice, that best advice that no one ever gave you, that you in turn now make it your business to give out to everyone that you encounter. I'll give out my information first. Okay. Um, so uh, if you are on any of my social media pages, you know, on, on Facebook, we have Finance Friday parties where yes. every, Friday, <laughs> every Friday I give out 10 free finance tips um, that I say is, is medicine for those who are sick and it is vitamins for those who feel like they are healthy when it comes to their finances. So there are 10 nuggets that we I've been giving out every Friday for two years now. Um, the so money you can, mama. It's the money mama. <laughs> so you can be my friend on Facebook and you can get those tips and, and, er and everyone shares it. And they're really great st stuff to just help you on the journey to financial freedom. And on Wednesdays on Instagram, I am pep talks at pep talks underscore on Instagram at pep talks underscore. And we have wealth Wednesdays at 830 every Wednesday where I hang out and talk with my real estate investor and my business banker, where we give out tips, free tips. And we have a whole conversation about how to better manage your your finances, how to better, um, you know, get into the real estate game. If you want to, you know, be an investor or buy your first property or buy another property. Um, and then the tips as far as handling your business finances, your business credit, and how to level up in that area as well. So I get to hang out with Danielle J. Smallwood, who is my real estate investor and with Stefan, who is my business banker and we come and we come together and give you the best we have every single Wednesday. So hang out with us. And I would leave you with this. You only have two options. You can either change or you can stay the same. But if you are lost, that is because either you don't have a map or you're not using it. And so you need to decide 
which side you're on. And if you feel like you don't have a map, if you feel like you were never given these financial tools, you were never taught these things at, at grandma's table on, on Sunday uh, afternoon, like I say, um, you now have a wealth of information around you, have resources around you. I am one of them. Um, so we can get you that map and then we'll get you the, the steps of how you can make sure that you're actually using it to get you that step by step. You can make one step today, go to bed a little bit happier, a little bit more peace, make another step tomorrow, and we'll get you on the road to financial freedom and full, real, authentic peace. Yes, indeed. And listen, I need to tell y'all, she did not just promise you in 60 days, we're going to hand your credit up to 800. <laughs> <laughs> okay, don't walk away from the myth. Okay. She also did not say that this thing comes without you putting in the work. So if you are ready and willing to invest in yourself, then you know how to reach out to Rachel. RachelHannibal.com. And she will outline for you all of the many ways that she can serve all of the many ways that she can help you to develop strategies and all of the many ways that lead to success on your terms and as an individual, okay? Because this, you know, I like to say all the time in the tribe, success is a customized journey. It is not one size fits all. We are not all starting at the same place and we are all not journeying to the same place. And so I am so excited that she has such a plethora of services to offer. And I am even more excited to be able to expose you and connect you to a resource that will, trust me, if you will do the work, if you will sow your seed, you will absolutely get a return on this investment with this woman of God. I trust her. I recommend her. I have done testimonials with her and I myself have hired her with her and learn from her. And so I am telling you that it is not by accident or happenstance that I reached out and that she was available. So I am so grateful that you have tuned in. I hope that you are getting something from this series about your network and what it looks like when your net works. This has been another phenomenal episode on another amazing Friday. You made it. I'm proud of you. And I'm excited to see you back here every week, Friday night, 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time with me, your girl, your host, the Passion Strategist. And you do not know who is coming next on the platform, so you don't want to miss it. Listen, it happens to be Wednesday today when we are recording, but I want to invite you to tune into, well, is it Wisdom? Wealth Wednesday. <laughs> Wealth Wednesday. Wealth Wednesdays. I'm telling you, that is the place to be. Uh, listen. I am not a spring chicken, so I'm not about to be out here in these clubs. But listen, that's the club for me. Y'all talking about wealth and how we can get it? Let's get it, okay? So you need to tune in. Again, expand your network. Be exposed and take that leap beyond that four-block radius and look at where you'll end up. You, you have just talked to a living legend, a whole... She's not a millionaire in training, but you are, okay? I'm just going to just drop that little side note. I am, and so are you. And if you want to sit at the table with the Rachel Hannibal, you absolutely can. Call her, connect with her, you know, um, tap into her resources. Tap into those Finance Fridays and get you some good free gems. You want a little appetizer? You want to make sure you're getting the good good? I promise you, you are. But if you just want to qualify for yourself, it's all right. Go ahead and put your fork in it. And don't say nothing when you decide to get hooked because it's going to happen. One Finance Friday, you will be hooked. And I want you to promise me that you are not going to keep this gem to yourself, but that you are going to share her with everybody that you know, because this is a conversation that we need to continue to have. And she is the gatekeeper to your next financial level up. So go ahead, reach out, listen, throw a finance party today. You and your girls, you and your guys, you and your kids. She does it all. So there is no excuse why you should not be having a party with Miss Rachel Hannibal at some time in the 2021. Hurry up and get your spot. I already got mine. So I can just put it one out there for y'all. I already got mine. Get your spot. Okay. And be back here with us next Friday night, 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Listen, share this like this, drop comments, and I'm putting Rachel on the spot, but if you will drop a comment and tag her at pep talks underscore on Instagram, she might just answer your question. She might just answer your financial question, but you got to tune in, you got to turn up, 
and you definitely need to drop a comment, okay? So I need you to go to Missing Peace Financial Group. Go ahead and Google that. I need you to go ahead and go to rachelhannibal.com and I need you to get all up in her services and I need you to want more for yourself and understand that you have a net that is ready to work if you learn the art and the purpose of the network. This has been another amazing, amazing episode. Rachel, I cannot thank you a million times over enough. I am excited about the next time we get to collaborate. Yay, it's coming up today. I'm so excited. And <laughs> listen, I promise you guys, I will get on Rachel's calendar. I will bring her back for an all-star edition. Because uh, I already know. Y'all are like, who is that? Wait, wait, wait. Bring her back. Bring her back. Because it went so quick, our time together. But I will get her back on the calendar. I will put I put together a special platform for you guys to be able to ask her Q&A live. But in the meantime, go ahead and share this with somebody. Make sure you meet me back here next Friday night. And Rachel, you already know I'm getting ready to check you out on Well Wednesday. So I'll be over there in a few more minutes. So get the thing ready because I'm coming with my good questions. And we will look to see you again on the platform here with the tribe that is the vibe of all things success. Thank you for coming and being a part of a network that shows up when the net works. We love you. We appreciate you. And I can't wait to see you again soon. Absolutely. I can't wait. See you guys. Yes. Love you. Love you. Tune in, guys, and we'll see you again next Friday night. Thank you so much for being here. Bye.